Hey everybody, uh, this lesson is solving for a variable. They call it literal equations. I don't know why they call it that, but they do. So don't forget all your lessons can be found at mrmathblog.com and then uh, you would click the integrated math one link, okay? All right, so literal equations are equations that contain two or more variables. This lesson, we're going to uh, show us how to rearrange our math formula. So let's go back to a pre-algebra lesson, 42 equals 6x. How can we solve that equation? Well, we're going to divide both sides by, what are we going to divide both sides by? Well, easy enough, we're going to divide both sides by 6. Okay, we've done this before. So, um, so why did we divide on that? Well, 6x means multiplication, so the inverse of multiplication is division right there. All right, sorry, my little thing got cut off there. So why are we dividing by 6? Well, uh, to undo multiplying by 6, we divide by 6, okay? So by rearranging the equation, x was isolated and the solution was found. And in this case, it's found to be 7, 42 divided by 6. All right, so here we have a rectangular prism with the volume formula, okay? So the volume formula is uh, volume equals length times width times height right here. So let's isolate h right here. Okay, so the operation of, when we see LWH, that means multiplication. So the operation of multiplication is used. And so the inverse operation is division. It should be used to isolate our H right there, okay? So let's go ahead and do that. Let's divide both sides by, well, the things that are being multiplied with H are these LWs. So let's both divide both sides by LW, okay? And then the Ls will cancel, the Ws will cancel. So there's our, our H formula, H equals v over lw and that's your answer right there okay when it says solve for h right there so this formula rearranged in this way could now easily produce the height and uh, of a rectangular prism when they give you the volume and the length and the width okay so we'll do some of that so using the formula for a rectangular prism rewrite the formula to solve for l okay so let's go back to volume equals lwh all right, this time we're going to divide both sides by WH, and then that way we get L all by itself. So, so the, uh, func the formula for this one is V over WH equals L, okay? So um, this means multipl uh, multiplication, tongue twister, so we do the inverse, which we, we divide. So we divide by the things we want to get rid of that's tagged with the L right there, okay? All right, we'll get used to it. So here's one. Uh, the formula density is uh, D equals M over V. M is, uh, represents mass, and this represents volume right here. Okay, so lead, for example, has a very high density of 11,340 kilograms per uh, M cubed. I think it's mass cubed. And plastic foam has a very low density uh, 75 uh, kilograms uh, per uh, per meters cubed. Okay, so rearrange the formulas to solve for each. Okay, all right. So here's number one. A sinker on a fishing line is made of lead and has a volume of. Okay, I'm not going to say that. Actually, ten hundred thousands, ten thousands, hundred thousands, millions of so fifteen millions meters uh, cubed. Okay, mass cubed. So what is the mass of the sinker right there? Okay, so. Uh, we're going to first solve this formula up here for M to get the mass right here, okay? So uh, there's our formula, and then we're going to multiply both sides by V to get uh, the V's to cancel right here. So we get um, uh, DV equals M. Okay, well now it's all solved for M, so now all we got to do is plug in the density and the volume. The density they gave us right here, and the volume they gave us right here. So we're just going to plug that in right there. And we're going to pick up our calculators, and when we multiply that, we get about about um, uh, seven or uh, 0.17 uh, kilograms right here. Notice the ma uh, the mass cubed on the on the denominator right here cancels out with this mass cubed that's not in the denominator in the numerator right here. Okay. Uh, all right, let's try another one here, you guys. So same stuff right there. So uh, to design or the design for a life preserve requires preserver requires a 0.3 kilograms of plastic foam to provide proper buoyancy. What is the volume of the plastic foam? Okay, now we're going to take this uh, equation and solve for V. So let's solve for V, okay? All right, so um, since V is in the denominator, we don't want it in the denominator. We want it upstairs. So let's multiply both sides of the equation by V. Okay, so then now these V's are going to cancel right here, and then we're going to have DV equals M. Now remember, we're solving for V. 
So we got to get rid of this D right here. Well, this means multiply. So we're going to do uh, the inverse, which is divide. Divide both sides by D right there. And the D's will cancel. So there's our, our formula isolating V all by itself. V equals M over D. Okay, so now we just substitute in the given values. Okay, so the density uh, of the foam is here. And then um, uh, this is the volume, right, or the mass right here. So we're going to go ahead and plug that in right there. So the 0.3 goes right here, and the 75 goes right there. Now, notice we have a denominator, m cubed, in the, in the denominator. When that happens, if a denominator is in the denominator, it flips up and becomes part of the numerator. The kilograms are going to cancel, because kilogram over kilogram right there, and then punch it in your calculator, 0.3 divided by 75 right there, and we get about 0 0.004 uh, m cubed right there, okay? All right, you guys. Uh, uh, for altitudes up to 36,000 feet, the relationship between ground temperature and atmosphere te atmospheric temperature can be described by the formula uh, T equals negative 0.0035A plus G, where T is the atmospheric uh, temperature in degrees Fahrenheit, A is the altitude in feet, and G is the ground temperature in degrees Fahrenheit. So determine, here's the big question right here, right here. Determine the altitude in feet when uh, T is negative 27 degrees Fahrenheit and G is 60 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay, doesn't that sound fun? Okay, well let's look at this right here. So it says determine the altitude in feet. So we need to solve this equation for A first. Okay, so here I'm going to go, what I'm going to do is go minus G on this side and go minus G on this side right here. So do you see that little jump right there? I didn't write it right there. Okay, and then now we're going to, this is multiply, so we're going to divide both sides by this uh, decimal right here. And when we do that, we get uh, A all by itself, because those cancel right here. A equals the, this side over here. Okay. All right, so now let's just plug in the values above right here, okay? So um, T, this is T at uh, negative 27 uh, degrees Fahrenheit. I forgot to highlight the negative right there. And then G is 60, so here's T minus G, so it's negative 27.5 minus 60. Okay, be careful, you guys. Negative 27.5 is minus 60 is negative 87.5, okay? When you divide that, you get 25,000. Okay, 25,000 feet. Okay, so this is determine the altitude in feet. So the altitude is going to be at 25,000 feet right there. All right, let's try a couple of these. Solve the for the indicated variable in each uh, scientific formula. Okay, this one's an interest rate at banks and stuff. Interest rate equals PRT. That's the principal. That's the rate. That's the time right there. Okay, we're solving this one for T. Okay, so we're going to divide both sides by PR, and that'll be your answer right there. Okay, I over PR equals T. Okay, this one here, we're solving, remember this one in algebra, Y equals MX plus B. Let's solve for M. So first, I'm going to go minus B minus B right there. Y minus B uh, equals MX. Now, since we're solving for M, we're going to divide both sides by X. Okay, so there's the answer. Y minus B over X equals M. Okay, you guys can do this. Let's do one more, you guys. Solve uh, this formula for y. Okay, this time y is being hidden inside of these parentheses. Well, these parentheses mean multiplication. It's multiplied by this x out here. So to uh, opposite that, we got to divide by x. So we're going to divide both sides by x. And the x is cancel. y plus 2 thirds equals 1 over x. Okay, we want to get the y all by itself. So subtract 2 thirds from both sides, and we get... Um, uh, y equals 1 over x minus 2 thirds right there. Okay. All right, you guys. I hope that makes sense. And if you're in my class, that would be my assignment. Take care.